Welcome guys to the third podcast. Some of the questions that we answered today is Who is our favourite YouTuber and why? Favourite alcoholic drink? If you could be anything, what would you be? If CA could make any total war of your choice, what would it be? And if you had to pick one game to play for the rest of your life, what would it be? And uh, if you could migrate to any country, where would you go? So those, those, are, those are the questions that we asked today, and it happens to be like 30 or 40 minutes long. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this podcast. It's a really great way for us YouTubers to um, get to know each other a bit, bit more as well. It's really um, fun to talk to um, these guys. Um, it was the first time I talked to Vendetta, and I'm pretty sure it's the same it's the first time for a few other people, and it was re- really awesome you could join. And we also joined by Lionheart, and um, actually, we actually all introduced in a second, so you'll see that. Um, and yeah, and we understand um, it's a Monday. I'm, 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 I upload these podcasts on a Monday. Monday is when everyone goes back to work or go back, goes back to school. So sit back, relax, enjoy this uh, podcast. You know, do some homework while you know while you listen to this, or you know, if you're just in a bad mood, listen to this. And I'm, I assure you. Your mood shall change. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. A like would be much appreciated. And if you have any any questions or topics for us to talk about for the next podcast, make sure you drop down in the comment section. And make sure you subscribe to everyone um, that, that joins us in this podcast. And, yeah. Anyway, guys, stay awesome and enjoy the podcast. Alrighty, we're back for another podcast. This is the third podcast, and uh, we've got your favourite YouTubers as always. Um, start off, we've got the Snowhood four two zero. I'm alive. He's alive, barely. We've, as always, we've got the Kiwi Devil, Mr. Double. Ooh. Hello. We've got Bagel. Do <laughs> 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 All right, we've got the legendary Vendetta. For, some of you should know him from the Total War Network. What's up? We've got the one and only Lionheart. How you going, man? Who, what, where, what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. And same as last time, we've got uh, Itchy from Project Those Guys. Hello. Alright, so um, sadly we don't have Alex the Rambler, who won't be hyperventilating this time, but <laughs> we, 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 we will be thinking about him. If you have no idea what I just said, there'll be a link to the last podcast and then the podcast before that as well. So, And uh, we also thought of a name for the podcast, finally. We call it Rathcast, meaning random as fuck. Yeah, so... <laughs> all right, let's get... that. Because <laughs> it really is random as fuck. So. Random. Anyway, so, start off with the first question. Who is your favourite YouTuber and why? Or a YouTuber that you look up to? So, um... Who wants to start off? <laughs> Anyone! Let everyone start at once. <laughs> I'm going through the thinking process. No, I think. Um, How long does that take? Is it a wheel spin? Or is it like a little rat? <laughs> you have to watch it go around. It's more like, you know, the you get three cups and you put a ball in the middle. It's like that. Put a ball in one of them. Try guess what? Now, one. so that just means two of three times you don't come up with an idea. Yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good odds. <laughs> it's like 20 to 4 in the morning, I mean 20 to 3, I can't even tell the cops. <laughs> right, I'm just, I'll start off. <laughs> See what happened, you didn't get a ball, <laughs> you got empty cup. <laughs> uh, I'll start off. It's going to be a long podcast. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> okay, since no one's going to start, I'll start off as uh, Tom Syndicate. Um, Tom Syndicate. You might know him, he's got, I think he's got like 5 or 6 mi- million subs. He's um he's English, he's the number one solo uh subbed person in England, I'm pretty sure. Um he's just uh, he's really positive on life. He's uh he's a he's a really funny commentator. He's th- he's he's done it all by himself. He's he's not like a part of a company or anything. Um and he's uh he d- he does a lot of charities. He, I think he recently raised like two hundred and fifty thousand bucks for like kids in Africa so I think he does a re- I think he's a really in- in- um he's 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 quite an inspiration. So I definitely definitely look up to Tom the Syndicate, but that's just me. Uh. Mm, very noble. Well, thank you. But <laughs> but my my actual favorite is definitely Dabba. So I, I look <laughs> up. I, to, I look up to him because he's <laughs> his his lifestyle, <laughs> staying up lifestyle. staying up late doing podcasts. You know, it's just it's such a <laughs> such a good lifestyle. Tough guy. <laughs> he's tough. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So anyone else got a favourite YouTuber? Uh, anyone else? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got. Um... <laughs> All right. 
He wants to go. We all we all came up with an idea all of us <laughs> at the same time. And everybody scream. Go. <laughs> no. Someone. Okay. 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 Um, Tabuscus for me. Oh, Tabuscus. Oh, that's a good point. Tabuscus. I just can't. Uh... Yeah, I started off watching like his literal trailers for for games. I think it's Assassin's Creed oh, so good, Two yeah. Brotherhood that's One. That's good. That's just that's just awesome. And if you haven't seen any of those, then you need to sort your life out, like, a lot. Because <laughs> they're just amazing. <laughs> Generally, like, they're just so awesome. Uh, and then his, uh, if you watch any of his, like, Let's Plays on, it, on his, like, secondary channel, they're just hilarious. Like, his Far Cry 3 ones were just him being attacked by, like, the weird ostrich things all, all day long. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely Tabuscus. <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he's a great YouTuber. He's got the best voice as well for it, I reckon. Oh. It's just the facial expressions as well. Like if he's doing, <laughs> yeah. if he's doing the count, always gets me. I really like his sideburns. <laughs> what? Uh, is, it, is, it, is it just me? I, I've always liked his sideburns. No, no, no. It, it looks good on his face. Yeah, it really. I probably, I probably never want them myself, but <laughs> same here. Well, on him, on him, like a kind of, you know, if I had his face, <laughs> but then yeah, sure, I'll have sideburns. Like a face-off sort of thing. I'd steal his face, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's, that's a bit too creepy. Still May I have your it. face, please? Thank you. Yes, I'll, I'll give it back. Reminds me of the John back. Travolta movie. <laughs> oh, no. I watched it the other day. <laughs> face off. That's that's oh, face off. Oh, dear. That's a weird movie. I want to take your face <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much it. <laughs> uh, Vendetta, who's your favourite YouTuber? Uh, um, I don't know if anyone knows him, but no. it's Manslayer. <laughs> what? And then he's what? the guy who's done uh, Game of Boop. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. Boop. <laughs> if you never heard of Game of Boop, you're gonna have to link this down below or something. It's um, he does like four or five minute videos of stuff like um, Skyrim, uh, Oblivion, all that kind of stuff. And what he does is that he uh, cuts and edits like different sort of audio from different characters, and he fits it all together to make these really, really weird scenarios, but they're so funny. They've just got the most dry sense of humour you'll ever see on YouTube. It's just hilarious. And it gets me every single time, and I've watched, he... like, half of his videos, like, ten times at like, each. It's just so is funny. The... Is he the guy that makes that um, devil cartoon? Or is that someone else? Mm, no, I don't think he is. Uh, awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've yeah, might have seen a video a of his. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'll um, definitely link that channel in the description. I'll, um, I'm gonna have to. You're gonna have to remind me and also link me to the channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, 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 it sounds pretty funny, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of more, I'd say, rising up a little bit in the kind of YouTube kind of ranks, if you like. But he's definitely growing really, really quick, and he's just so, so funny, especially if you've got a really dry sense of humour like I have. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Right, uh, Itchy. Uh, mine, mine would probably be Frankie on PC in ten uh, in ten eighty p. He's a good man. Yeah, I've heard of him. I think I've watched much of his. He uh, he plays a lot of games that I like, like uh, Battlefield and all that, like DayZ, Armor Two, and his voice is pretty amazing as well. It's pretty, cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Almost as, as amazing as yours, or? Nah, I reckon yours is better. <laughs> oh, plus he has a cool accent to go with it. Ooh. Oh, Alright, yeah, Mr. Mr. Snow, do you have a favourite YouTuber besides me? Um, <coughs> if I, yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> oh, okay. He's my favourite YouTuber. <laughs> well, there we go, so... Wait, r really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, wait. Oh, you forget this I forgot, about... I forgot you know that <laughs> You know what, here, I disown you from this point on. <laughs> oh, fa favorite YouTuber, you forget him. That's it. <laughs> I, I, I forgot. Uh, hey, it's, oh. late for, it's, it's late for me as well, okay, I forgot. Poor Dabba. <laughs> oh my god. I'm heartbroken here. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, you, have to, you have to give me your, your rubber boob as a gift. <laughs> Fine, you can have it. I don't want it. <laughs> Dude, rolls it on the floor and gets it all hairy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rubber boot. <laughs> if, oh, it's gonna be so hard to explain. <laughs> Go on with the favorite YouTube video. Thing. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about my rubber boob right now, please. No, the hairy boob. <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> Caveman boob. Oh yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Are you going to say your favorite YouTuber? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I was just he's, letting the boob he's thing. He's throwing the empty cup over and over again. Oh, God damn it. All right. Uh, Screw you. A lot of people who are uh, within the armor community would know um, who he is. His name's Devil Dog Gamer. Um, the thing I like about him is that he he has this series called The Marine Corp Monday where he touches um, certain subjects um, that a lot of combat veterans don't really go through and he helps out people that want to join the military uh, by giving them an insight that pretty much a lot of veterans don't like to, like I said before, touch base with. Um, also, he's got the same MOS as me, which is the same uh, type of job in the military. He's a designate, uh, designated marksman. Uh, he's a good dude. He does charity work from what I believe. I've heard he's um, done a few charities, um, helped them out. And he, he just uploads quality content. It's none of those just like a uh, random run around, kill everything. He sort of does um, educational armor videos with uh, with quite a nice touch of realism to it. So he's a, he's a pretty good. He's the that's awesome. I'm a YouTuber I look up to. I suppose it's pretty cool to like show off real life stuff for a game because armor armor is really realistic. Yeah. Compared to COD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, started on quad. <laughs> Don't get started. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna put these questions in random order now because I really want to ask this one. Okay, so if CA could make any 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 Total War game of your choice, like like it could be any time period, anywhere in the world, or e even in the future, what what, what would it be and why? Ooh. Who wants to start? Um, mm. Do you want to start, Vendetta? Uh, I don't know. I kind of had an idea, but it's just, it's got probably, I don't know, actually. Because like, there are a lot of um, mods, you know, like Lord of the Rings, Warhammer. Yeah. It'd probably have to be something like that. Like, they just kind of ditch the history for a second, even though, you know, that's what I love about Total War generally. But, like, if they ditch the history for, like, maybe one or two games and just went full out Lord of the Rings, Warhammer, you know, whatever, that I would just love to see. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just because that would be, it would just be hilarious. Yeah, I'll probably have to say, because I, I know they're making a mod for Game of Thrones, but I haven't seen anything or heard anything about it in ages. But if they can actually make a proper Game of Thrones to the war, on like maybe like you know yeah. the Rome Two engine, like that would be amazing. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think like if they make some of these mods, but they make them full on release games from CA, that would just be the shit. Yeah, because like a lot of people say, oh, just do World War One and Two, but like it's not really the Total War. Ooh. It's not really for Total War, I believe. Like, cause, yeah, because like you can get shot from like a mile away. Yeah, you know? I think Empire, <laughs> kind of, that kind of history is where it should kind of stop, really. Yeah, plus if it was like a World War Two Total War, the games would last like, about a minute. Like you send one it squad, it would not work either. You send one squad out and they get <laughs> mowed down by a machine gun. <laughs> You've won. Okay, oh. good, sweet. Most of it it's either that or they'd be too widespread. <laughs> Most of it would just be hiding behind a trench. You attack, now you attack. No, you attack, now fuck off. <laughs> the game goes on for four years. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks later. Still still hasn't moved. But yeah, so uh, yeah, I'll pick Game of Thrones. For sure. Um, hey, who's, who's next? <laughs> Alright. I would... There's a war that I'm really interested in. It's from the mid 1800s. It's based. Um, it's from the Crimean the Crimean War, which involves quite a lot of countries: Russia, Bulgaria, and they versed um, the British Empire, France, um, the Ottomans, and Sardinia. And it was actually um, it was a very devastating war. Uh, it had the famous charge of the Light Brigade as well, the devastating charge uh, where the cavalry got absolutely slaughtered, but still pulled off the objective. That was epic. Um, it held also some key battles in history, like the Battle of Mount Inkerman, where it proved um, numbers do not need necessarily win battles as fog. The fog actually won the battle for the British when they fought up the hill. But it also has like, a lot of history behind it. It could make, um, it could, it's pretty much a DLC idea, pretty much because it's such a small war. But it's just an interesting part of history. I'd like to see be developed into a game. Hmm. It's pretty cool. That is a section of the history they ditched, since you <laughs> stop in Medieval 2 in the 15s, 14s, and then they just skip all the way up to late 17s for Empire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the kind of Renaissance, no, not Renaissance period, well, yeah, actually, kind of the Renaissance period, that Henry VIII onward kind of thing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that would be a good idea. 
Uh, Someone, an someone's, interesting someone's, one. Someone's getting cold. <laughs> I would go. F I can. I think for me, because I still think Medieval Two is the best. I would go for a very, like, focused point inside of that history. Expand like two hundred years of just the, ten to two twelve hundred or so, then make that a really long game. Mm. All updated with new graphics. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Oh, and no bugs, preferably. Imagine no bugs. <laughs> Dinosaur to the wall. Oh yeah. Oh Christ. That would be bizarre. <laughs> How many Wait, I so. <laughs> How would settlements work though? You'd do ca <laughs> caves. Caves. Caves, <laughs> caves, man. A system of caves. You'd be nomadic. <laughs> Sir, oh next. You just roam tax. around. No. no <laughs> uh. your, your turn development would depend on where you decided to plop down for that night. <laughs> it, would, it would be pretty awesome because you'd have to like develop wheels and crap out of stone. Oh, that'd, that'd be cool, be yeah. Technology. Yeah, it would be awesome. Caveman turtle wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, it would be awesome. Raptor, like cavalry. <laughs> throw, who, can, who can throw the biggest stone? Mm. <laughs> Mammoths, run! Well, there are enough really dinosaurs to make it tactical. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> giant, see, you, this is where the sloth would come out. You would have sloth oh, armies. The giant sloth. 30 foot sloth. <laughs> Who wants them? Hammer and anvil with my uh, velociraptor. Judge. <laughs> flight support. Fight. Flight. Flight support. Flight support. <laughs> From the pterodactyls. That'd be cool. <laughs> that would be pretty sick. Why did I say dinosaur total war? I'm tired. <laughs> dinosaur total war. What about what about you, Ichi? Any time period. Uh. Any. Fantasy story. I know Rome kind of does it, but I would want one more focused on Greek states, in more like a more in-depth uh, one. Uh, Greek states. Yeah. Like the Peloponnesian Wars and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That That's would be interesting. Of, yeah, if they expanded the map a lot more, like hmm. instead of it was just like, because at the moment I think it's like what four, five, six cities, and then if they just actually expanded the map very literally, like they did with the prologue with uh, Rome. I'm guessing they will make a DLC for Rome 2 for um, the Peloponnesian Wars or something along the lines of that since they have added the states in. Yeah. It's a possibility. Hopefully, anyway. So Itchy's wish may come true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, di no dinosaur total war then. <laughs> that kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Lionheart? I'm not sure if he's on the phone. So someone's phone. No, now. I'm here. Okay, that, okay. Yeah, that, that was mine. Oh, okay, I'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, any total war you, that you can make, or I think I have to agree with what people said before about something like a Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones, but you know, taken taken further than the mods have currently got them, because yeah. I know the Game of Thrones mod for Medieval Two is progressing very slowly. Yeah. But um, <laughs> the last the last version of it I played, I mean, it was. It was good. It had a good like standpoint, but I think the team for that was a lot smaller than something like Third Age. So it's taking them a long time to get to version one, where hopefully it'll be a bit more bug-free. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, something like that on on Rome 2's engine. If uh, Ooh, if the modders this time nice. can get round to uh, working out, I say Rome 2's engine. It's essentially Empire's engine that's just been overhauled gradually as it as it keeps going. But mm. if that could, if they the only the main thing that's holding modders back is basically the inability to effectively mod the campaign map now. Oh, but okay. someone did manage to add a bit of land into Shogun 2 once, so <laughs> <laughs> if that's anything to go with, you know, ev eventually I guess we could... It's, it's more, I think, a tool problem rather than the actual inability of the engine. The engine's made it so that you need kind of a, a different tool to, to mod the map in or, 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 you know, make changes to it. So it could happen, I think... Whether it happens or not, it just depends on how how much time the modders actually get to to play around and you know work on developing tools that that can change it. But yeah, like a uh, Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones would be awesome. Yeah, if we're gonna stick with the mods, I could go for a nice pirate buccaneering one. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, you can imagine like if it was a, ge a Game of Thrones mod, like a, the wall being like one of your th settlements. Mm. The wall. That'd be cool. Atta if, attacking White Walkers. Oh. If the actual battle map could even come close to showing off something up that that wall, <laughs> how would you just how are you gonna attack it? All right, boys, we're climbing up. It's gonna take a month, but we're doing it. You'd be like, I, I good just, luck. 
It would I just be had like a random idea. <laughs> they would fall off. They come in. Imagine if there was like an oblivion total war. Ooh. Because there, there's quite a lot idea. of wars. Yeah, there's a lot of wars in the storyline. It could be something. Yeah, different. and there's loads of lore as well. Yeah. Wouldn't that be Roll good for it. Mountain Blade? That would be also good for Mountain Blade. Modders, watch this. Take out. Oh wow! <laughs> take, so many take, ideas. Take out ideas. Make some stuff. <laughs> make make stuff. <laughs> make things. <laughs> oh. But the thing, the problem about modders is that they, that they don't get paid, so it's a lot to do. There's so few nowadays too. Yeah. If I well. if I get mod, I'll do it. But I have no <laughs> fucking clue how you do it. I'm just too retarded. <laughs> That's kind of, I was going through forums and stuff. I noticed the trend with them is that they are into it big time before they say they have to go to college or uni. And then once they hit that point, it's there's just not enough time anymore. Yeah. But it's huge how, how many of them are actually, the modders are younger, I noticed. Yeah. That's interesting. They're not older guys. It's like, <laughs> I've got nothing to do. Let's make this game better. It's younger kids saying hey we need to make this game better it's like a, <laughs> interesting so it's like a 10 year old making the footage mod <laughs> oh. oh yeah i mean to apply ages to it it would be they got to be starting at like 13 14 modding into 18 then going off to uni <laughs> uh, i think we should go on to the next question before we get bored um favorite alcoholic drink so, eh. I'll be here all night, mate. She's <laughs> <laughs> one. Pause up my She's list. She's one and go. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll just start off. I'm a big fan of bourbon, and I love me cider. Um, they're probably the bitch drink. cider. <laughs> what was that? That's right, bitch cider. Bitch cider. <laughs> <laughs> no, my favorite brand is Dixon cider. Oh, what? My. oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. No, I, I, I just clicked no, on this brand. The, Dixon. I just clicked on Cider. Not, oh, right. Dixon again with Not Dixon Cider. Oh, no. <laughs> I, <didn't know. laughs> I was going to say. I thought say. that was the joke. I thought that was the actual joke. Just <laughs> <laughs> Literally, bitch cider. It's, a, it's an actual brand. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um, no, but no, no, it's not my favorite. My favorite is a strawberry and lime cider. Oh, that's the best. Itchy, you've tried it. It's good stuff. Uh, it, yeah, it's pretty good. You've tried his dick cider. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I take that back. He's tried my dick inside. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god. Uh, I have to admit, I, I'd go for cider as well, but I I go for the, the non dick variety. <laughs> <laughs> I'd mind without dick. Perhaps some, some boob cider? It's an American brand. I've never up, had it. I'd be up for that. I'd be up for boob cider. Boob cider. Ooh. Boob cider. That is something I could toast to. Boob cider. Yeah. Alright. Whiskey. Straight whiskey. up. Straight whiskey. Actually, Straight whiskey on the rocks, huh? Actually, I take that back. I'm a big fan of rum. I love One cube. Motherfucker. I'm a bit of... <laughs> <laughs> Re Recently on my 18th, I had this drink called the Zombie. It's uh, four types of rum, as well, as well as a tiny bit of tropical juice for flavor. And it was amazing. It was, it cost me 20 bucks. For the twenty bucks, it was the it was worth it. Okay, I was eighteen and I wasn't feeling the best afterwards. Let's just, let's just say that. How big was it? It was pretty. It was like a big big glass. Not a small glass. No. Are we talking like one of those German glasses? No, or? no, no. Like a uh, beer glass. glass. Pint glass, pint glass pint? It was. I don't know. I can't. I don't know what size of glass. It was a big glass. <laughs> just say or, was it, or was it just a coconut? Just half a coconut. <laughs> just a coconut. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> It's filled with <laughs> rum. It's <laughs> filled with a little with a little hat and a straw. Hopefully, it was some good quality rum. <laughs> oh, it was good. Well, it better be for twenty dollars. Yeah, for twenty bucks right. for one glass. It better be good stuff. I'm just yeah, four types of rum. It was it was it was magical. The guy blatantly just pissed in it and like put some tropical <laughs> juice and said, "Yep, there you go, bit of flavor." <laughs> Nick, for twenty bucks. Good day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I I watched them make it on the bar. It was pretty pretty exciting. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Go back to the kangaroo. Come on, eh? give me some piss. <laughs> Tug on its leg a little bit. There we go. Twenty bucks. Man, every oh. every Australian owner would slap you right now. Thirty bucks. If you want to eat it out of the root pouch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Next question. Next question. <laughs> All right. So we got um, whiskey on snow, rum on the bar. What was yours, Vendetta, again? Uh, to be honest, I'm not much of a drinker. <gasps> although... Um, water. Although... <laughs> water. 
water. <laughs> no, um, juice. Although if I orange if I had to start <laughs> orange, no orange juice and lemonade, my friend. Oh, that is how yes. oh. it pulls That's the it. bitches. Fanta. Right. Fanta. But, <laughs> yeah. No, like um. Finish. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I'll do cider. Sometimes. It sounds like a drug, doesn't it? Yeah, sometimes I do cider. Just up there on the pipe. When no, there you go. When, <laughs> when no one's in the room, I do cider. No one's in the room, just a bit of when cider. When no one's watching, you I sometimes drink cider. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a modest lady. <laughs> no, I mean, like, sometimes, if I'm out of friends, it will be a good old cider, but generally speaking, I won't go around drinking. Oh, I generally respect speaking. that. So it's something you've learned about me. I don't understand it. But I respect this. <laughs> Some of my German friends, if they watch this, like, they'll call me French or, I don't know, like, lynch me or something. Great. <laughs> They're constantly talking about, like, beer and stuff. All right, that's at least one dislike on this video already. Thank you for that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Flagged for spam, I don't know. <laughs> it's in the corner uh, eating the water below. <laughs> uh, and Itchy, what's your... I don't know, for some weird reason, I really like straight vodka. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. They used to me a while back. <laughs> are, you, <laughs> are you Russian? I could be, uh, I could, but I'm not. I think so. <laughs> I With that voice, come on. Must be. Straight <laughs> vodka. Oh, man. It's good shit. Pour it, it's, fill up the glass. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it wakes me up. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Alright, let me tickle that. Uh, a few swigs, the engine starts rumbling, and away we go. <laughs> oh, I think we... That sounds depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, done that question. Alright. So, right, if, you, if you could be anything, what would you be? I've already sussed mine out, man. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Please share. <Is> it? <laughs> a milk bottle? I would be a damn <laughs> carton of milk. <laughs> I mean, a carton of milk. I'd be a potato. Yeah. But not... <laughs> Not the big carton of milk. He wants to be the little kid-sized milk. Oh yeah, those are epic, man. Well, you want to be drank by kids. Ooh, <laughs> that's Ooh. What's, what's going on? <laughs> you trying to say something, Deva? <laughs> Only your kids here. Oh, oh no. Fucker. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, God damn you. <laughs> um, that's not my serious yeah. answer. Give you like two minutes. Be anything. A penguin. That's a weird a question. A penguin. <laughs> A Dover King. So, now, nah, Penguin, you suit it up all the time. It's awesome. Right. <laughs> Always tuxedo. Look good. I don't know. I'd, if, if, I don't know. I, I probably haven't thought this out. I'd probably be something like a cat because they're pretty well looked after and cared for. But, you know, if, okay, if a you... house cat or like a lion or a tiger or a cougar. Uh, I think I'm going to have probably a better... better... Better kind of quality of life on a cat. I mean, Pantal you know, as long as I get, as long as I'm a cat in a, in a family household that has like, you know, satellite television, I'm I'm sorted. <laughs> Just watch TV all day. Food. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's fine, you know. Just, just, you know, good, good fridge, well stocked for the food. No, I'll, I'll be right, you know. You have to remember, you got paws. You can't open a fridge. It's the only issue. I'll, I'll make I'll make my humans my bitches. Uh, sounds good. <clears throat> Control them. I don't, I don't know. It's a good Something like that. Phoebe or I'll cool. piss in your pillow. I think the thing is, I think I have the same outlook to kind of what would I be if I wasn't human as I do when I play MMOs. Like in Guild Wars 2, you can choose to be like different races, like a big cat thing or a tree person or a little weird sort of alien person from under the ground or something like that I always go human mainly because I like the way I look I like being human why would I want to look different <laughs> <laughs> I like having that thumbs that's pretty, pretty much about it. I enjoy having thumbs alright <laughs> this is your one opportunity yeah. to not be and you still pick a human <laughs> still want my thumbs <laughs> what well, about those being things? a shapeshifter so then you can just do whatever you want oh yeah Shock on that. That's a good idea. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, uh, right. I would be like, become be a like the Pokemon Zephyr. Ditto. If I'm gonna be anything, then I'm gonna be everything. <laughs> oh god. Wow. Oh, my mind just blew up. <laughs> <laughs> just think of everything I could be. I would be a lamp. Just, All at once. Oh, yeah. Just like just <laughs> sitting around. Be a lamp. Just cr so, cr so you get turned on by both females and males. <laughs> Is that what you're oh, saying? He's yeah. a little bi curious. That's that point. I didn't, I didn't think of it like that. Shit. <laughs> See, okay. it's out I got, there. I, I, I got trapped with the pattern of milk. <laughs> now, in all serious, I would want to be a rock star. I can that be so cool to be able to perform in like thousands, in front of thousands. 
Six we'll be dragons. high on here. Oh, yeah, exactly. you're no better yeah. than a hooker. Because <laughs> once we're done and expended with you, you throw it in the trash. <laughs> nah, if I could be anyone, I would be snowed. <laughs> <laughs> plays, game, oh, there you go. plays games all day, has good internet, good PC, life sorted. <laughs> <laughs> life sorted. <laughs> it's a good life. It's a good life. Anyone else? Up with the I would be I think. a Super Saiyan from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. That would be epic. That would be epic. Good shout. <laughs> have, you ever, the, the floating, have you ever thought of Scenario? Hair. If Super Saiyans and like Saiyans were actually real, have you thought of that scenario before? Uh, no, I have not. <laughs> oh, I got drunk one night and thought about it with my mates, and we're like having a real immature man moment. <laughs> <laughs> immature, <laughs> immature cartoons man that could moment. charge up power. <laughs> oh wow! I will charge my power for three days before I attack you. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <sighs> Just in a hand motion, blah, fight, <laughs> fight comes out. Yeah, man, really at drunk. At three commercial it. breaks to fully charge up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be forever, man. <laughs> All right, next question. All right, if you had to pick one game that you could only play for the rest of your life, like so, you could so one game. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Okay, you can play. You can play any other game for the rest of your life. Just this one game. Okay, what would it be and why? That's that, that, that's tough. That you is very tough. You I don't think pick. I can. I think I don't think you can. You get bored after a while, even if it was like yeah, the best no. game ever. You, you need variety. Pick, yeah, you can't pick any single player game that's just simply a campaign with start to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Every one of those so, games is like, out. General general consensus. Is... Reject the question. Next question. <laughs> well, <laughs> that one. It has to be something completely with lots of options. It would have to be some sort of sandbox kind of I don't know. Yeah. Kind of like mm -hmm. if you could make GTA but across the whole world and if you could be able to actually power that. GTA. Yeah. Yeah. Then then I might be interested. Talk to me when you make that game. <laughs> I'm, it's just like, I'm not interested. It's because <laughs> you can get like pretty bored of just like one game, but because they'll kind yeah. of do the same. GTA. Once you get Bored of capping gangsters, you can just go and play golf or something, or <laughs> slap those in a strip club. There you go, you get different activities in one game, and then you can play online. I think it would have so, to be something boobies. along the lines of GTA or something along, you know, it's those open world sort of games that would that I could practically yeah. like play the longest. Well, um. I would say Mountain Blade, because there's a billion mods. It's single player and multiplayer, and it the mods pretty much make it a hundred other games. Especially full invasion, so I would have to pick Mountain Blade, just because like you, there's so much, there's, there's so many mods, you know, and mods count same, it's still the same game, and I, mm -hmm. I find the campaign a lot of fun as well. Mm -hmm. I found the campaign fun until I found the cheat codes. <laughs> oh god! After <laughs> that, I just <laughs> after that I just steamrolled it out and was like, yeah, done everything. Just control, done. control X X X X thousand gold. <laughs> Buy best armor. No one can be. Yes, yeah, so I go we go into an arena. Just like keep on spamming all of those X's. Yep, everyone's dead. Got all the gold. Wait, I could have just spammed gold codes anyway. Just swing your sword <laughs> so, once and you won. Yay! Yeah, but you feel like you should at least make the effort to go to the tournament, even if you're going to cheat once you're there. <laughs> 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 I, know, I don't understand why I used to do that. Because <laughs> you're, oh, then, then then you're actually playing the money. game rather than just sitting there spamming money. That way, oh no no, I'm still interacting with the game. I'm going to this tournament. Then I'm going to cheat. <laughs> but I'm not going to walk to that zap. tournament. No, I'm going to use the teleport cheat straight there. Boom, zap, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Has everyone given their answer? So we've got GTA. I, just can't, I can't think of one. Oh, like I've got, um, have you ever heard of a game called Gary's Mod? Oh yeah. yeah. Yes, Gary's Mod. Oh, yeah. Prop Hunt. Prop hunt, oh my god. A I game think it would be, be a cart in the milk. to play for the rest of your life. Yeah. You, you could be a cart in the milk. <laughs> <laughs> you can. You could be anything. <gasps> you could be anything. You could be a lamp as well here. Oh, yes. I could be turned that on. Carton true. of milk. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I know where I got the cart in the milk from now when I watched PewDiePie's video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, was a, he was a cart in the milk. <laughs> and then he got, like, smacked with a golf club or something. <laughs> oh, jeez. Typical PewDiePie. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. All right, I think that's all the questions. But we got uh, Vendetta popped one down, and I forgot to write down what was that question. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I forgot, uh, I forgot it. <laughs> it was um, if you could migrate to any country, what would it be? Ooh. America. America. 
<laughs> to be honest, I would uh, say America. I've been there a few times. I like America. I did enjoy my time in um, both Australia and New Zealand. So, uh, not not to uh, cause tensions in present company. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let's say I'd uh, split my time. I'd have a house in each. <laughs> Just a warning. <laughs> this time. You have really bad ping on other games. It sucks. Ah. Uh, Okay, I'm saying we're at 200, That's a yeah, 200 yeah, to 300 ping problem. with European and American servers. It's oh. I guess I'd have to pay for oh. the fastest, most expensive fiber optic set. Do you even have fiber optic out there? I don't think. Yeah. Wait, do we? Yeah, we do. yeah I'm on tier yeah. 3. Oh. I think Australia yeah, is stopping though. Okay, I'll go to a country so. which can offer me the fastest, like, lowest ping network. There we go, decide. Don't, don't trust Australia Aussie. Aussie's, and back back Aussie's South internet Korea. craps out every month. You still get <laughs> screwed ultimately on the distance. It doesn't matter how good the internet is. We got the wrong prime minister, Itchy. Yeah, yeah, uh, you guys do. And it just got political. political. <laughs> Fucking monkey. <laughs> I miss Kevin Rudd. That's I'm just something. Saying. That's one thing Aussie the and Milky Way kid can agree on. We both have shit prime ministers. We both have shit prime ministers. A vote for half to run the country. But oh, ultimately, would... one of, one of you has Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, and the other doesn't. Ooh, oh, that's <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, that is good. Uh, I think my choice would be made up on that. That's if it. you guys stole Russell Crowe, Russell Crowe. <laughs> you guys stole Russell Crowe, but we made Lord of the Rings. There you go. To be fair, I think that kind of goes in New Zealand's favour. Yeah. 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 Ultimately, that would definitely go. In and favor. we have high, we have a higher percentage of like our beers, higher percent. With your, <laughs> with your pussy four percent beers. <laughs> right. I'll bring you some actual good beer. Get some. Dicks and Cider. <laughs> Dicks and Cider. Yeah, definitely not that. <laughs> We're good, buddy. I'm pretty. I'm alright. I'm pretty I'm sure. Right. I'm pretty so I'll, sure. I'll smosh. bring you some ten percent stuff. Oh, we've got that over here too. It's called like Pirate and all that. No, no, this is actually good though. That is, it's decent. No, it's not decent. decent. This is good. <laughs> good. Is it Belgian, German? <laughs> no, it's here. It's local for my. We make tons of microbrews here. Lots. <laughs> <laughs> just go to my sister and get some homebrew whiskey and just be like, yeah. This a lot of our, a lot of our bars here have like 50 plus tabs. Holy crap! Holy crap! <sighs> well, that is all the just... questions, but uh... yeah, you can sit there for a long time and not taste everything. <laughs> I'll just go to America and just raid your pub. America. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you get shot get... by like 50 rednecks in one go. Oh, that's all good, nah. man. I've got a gun there. <laughs> that's the only issue. Nah, you play it weapons. up. Beer, nah, fuck tons <laughs> of rednecks. <laughs> that's, that's way down south. You gotta go down south for that. <laughs> Here, we give the power back to the people. Holy <laughs> shit, it's Bane. Every time. Every uh, time. Had to come out. <laughs> you always has to make an appearance sometime. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Uh, well, I think that's about it, really. We've got no more questions. Um, any, anyone Excellent. still watching, if you've got any questions or topics you would like us to talk about in the next podcast, uh, drop down in the comment section. I uh, want to thank everyone for joining. Mr. Hood, thank you. Yep, yep, thank you. Mr. Vendetta, thank you for joining. Danke. Mr. Leinhardt, thank you very much for joining. Thank you. And Itchy, thank you again. You are very welcome, sir. Yeah, and... W, you're always a part of it, so... I am not forgotten this time. <laughs> <Yeah>. Awesome. <laughs> Wait, who did you just talk about? <laughs> I'm Is going to stab you, Snowhub. <laughs> <laughs> and Snowhub died. You see? Come on, Mel Carton. Bring me your best shot. He's not just cut out. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. How'd you do that, Double? You, like, what? you threw, threw a knife out the window. I don't know. That was a good throw. I had a, I had a drone knife. And, oh. Right in my face! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next podcast. And always remember, hips the twat. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>